raw, hauntingly beautiful, full of vitality and somehow very human, Frank Auerbach's Charcoal Heads are some of the most remarkable works of the post-war years. My name is Barnaby Wright and I'm the curator of this exhibition at the Courtauld Gallery, Frank Auerbach, The Charcoal Heads. It brings together a remarkable group of large-scale drawings that the young Frank Auerbach made in London in the post-war years during the 1950s. Auerbach had been sent to England from Berlin, age seven, in 1939 by his Jewish parents to escape Nazi persecution. After the war, as a young man, he pursued his ambition to become an artist in London and these charcoal heads were some of the first major works he produced. He drew a handful of people that he knew well, but he drew them intensively using charcoal and a rubber to create dramatic contrasts of light and dark, working from his sitters for days, weeks, months on end. At the end of each session, dissatisfied with the drawing, he'd rub it out completely and start all over again on the next session using the same sheet of paper which he worked and reworked through a whole series of creations and destructions until he arrived at the image that he felt satisfied with, an image that somehow stood up for itself, was independent, was vital and alive. Albert began this series of charcoal heads in 1956 and his first sitter was the woman that he was in a long and intense relationship with, Stella West. She posed to him in a chair in her bedroom on the Earl's Court Road and Auerbach kneeled on the floor, his drawing board on an old kitchen chair and worked away long into the night, working and reworking his drawings of her. In this drawing of Stella West, we can see that he's worked it so intensively and vigorously that he's had to patch almost all of her head with a new piece of paper, carried on working until he found a unique image that he was satisfied with. The only other model at that time that was prepared to endure such a long and laborious process of sitting was Auerbach's close friend, the artist Leon Kossoff, who he had met at Art College in London. Kossoff and Auerbach took it in turns to model for each other. They spent long days together, switching between being artist and model and creating works of great monumentality and depth. Auerbach worked on his drawings of Kossoff over extensive periods of time until he arrived at an image where the head has almost become a landscape in its own right, craggy and worked, full of visual interest and drama, but also deeply rooted in the experience of looking at his friend over these long periods of time. One feels the inner life of Auerbach sitters very strongly in these works. One of the most striking works in the exhibition is a self-portrait that Auerbach made in charcoal in 1958. He's worked it so vigorously and extensively that he's broken through the paper and had to patch it up no less than three times. But somehow through all of that creation and destruction, this very forceful figure emerges from the charcoal, but also from his use of the eraser to cut through the blackness of the charcoal to create dramatic white highlights. It has the feeling of an artist that has been at work perhaps for decades with the weight of experience on his shoulders, but actually Auerbach was only 27 years old when he made this remarkable and profound drawing. For Auerbach, his large charcoal drawings were standalone works and the equivalent of his paintings. And in this exhibition, we've been keen to include a carefully selected group of the paintings of the same models that he made at this time. They're shown alongside some of the drawings to bring out the sense in which Auerbach was moving between drawing and painting at this time. Very often his drawings inform the way he paints and vice versa. Perhaps nowhere is this clearer than his remarkable painted head of Stella West that he made in 1964, where he literally draws in paint, squeezing oil paint directly out of the tube to create this really remarkable image of her. The themes of creation and destruction, endurance and vitality that run through these drawings connect to the tenor of the post-war years. 
when the city itself in London was being rebuilt after the destruction of the Blitz, and when the people of the city were remaking their lives after the devastation and losses of the war. Auerbach's charcoal heads were among the works that helped establish his reputation in the 1950s as one of the most exciting and innovative young artists of his generation. He emerged at that time alongside his friends Francis Bacon, Lucian Freud and Leon Kossoff as part of a group of artists who would really change the course of painting and drawing in the post-war years. To see these works in person is a thrilling and deeply moving experience. We hope you'll be able to come and see them here at the Courtauld Gallery.